All right, um, hope you guys are doing well today. We're gonna start um, into our last big section on surface area this week. Um, last big section for the year, which is pretty exciting. Um, so let's get rolling. So first we're gonna talk about what surface area is. Um, all right, and so surface area is, um, surface area is the total area um, of surface that a three-dimensional object um, takes up. All right, so um, if you think like a box made of cardboard, um, it's like how much cardboard it took to make the box. Um, we've taken out any other, other overlap, right? So sometimes your box has flaps. Um, so we're just thinking of the actual shape. Um, another way that commonly gets used to explain surface area, it's like wrapping paper, right? So you're wrapping your thing. It's whatever amount of surface it takes, right? So we're looking for a, um, an amount, um, and we're going to talk about two different shapes here to begin with. Um, first, we're going to talk about cylinders, then we'll get to prisms. So cylinders, um, again, just like our last couple sections, we have these nice equations um, that help us figure out our surface area. So our surface area in this case is equal to 2 pi times r, right, where r is our radius, right? And so our radius is either of the top or the bottom of our cylinder, um, and our radius is half of our um, diameter, right? So from the center out to the edge. Then we have 2 pi r times, notice this is in parentheses, so we have to do that together, r and h, where h is the height. All right, so all we need to know is the radius and the height of our cylinder, and we can calculate the surface area. Um, okay, so let's look at an example here. So notice we're given um, something about our radius, and we're also given our height. All right, so let's say h, our height is 13. Um, and uh, what is our radius, right? So our diameter is given, so we've got to cut it in half, so we get a radius of 10. Okay, so let's plug it into our surface area equation. Surface area of our cylinder is equal to 2 pi times 10. That's going to be multiplied by 13 plus 10. Um, and so we get surface area is equal to 2 pi times 10, times 23. And from there we go ahead and punch it into our calculator. 2 times pi times 10 times 23. We get approximately um, 1,445.13. Um, notice our units are meters. Um, and we're talking about area, right? Surface area. And when we did area, we squared it. So our surface area is 100 or 1,445.13 meters squared. So that's how you figure out surface area for a cylinder. Let's continue on to surface area of um, prisms, right? So we're gonna talk about um, two types, right? There's pretty much an infinite number um, or types of prisms, but we're gonna talk about rectangular and triangular, right? And so that's all based on the base. If you go back to our prism section, so notice this is our rectangle. Um, and this is our triangle, right? It's based on the base. Both of those bases are triangles. Both of these bases up top are rectangles. So either one, um, it goes slightly different uh, depending on the prism shape. So that's why we're gonna talk about these two specific. Um, and notice up here we have an L, a W, a W, H, right? So let's, our H is our height again. Our W is our width. And our L is our length. And so um, let's go through and let's say five is our height, two is our length, and six is our W, right? So um, you could go either way, right? Just make sure you know which one is which. And so now let's look into doing our surface area. So surface area equals two times um, two times six. Uh, if you're gonna type this all in your calculator at once, make sure you put it in parentheses, plus, let's zoom real quick so I got some more space, plus, actually that does not help me, plus um, two times, what's next, width times height, so we get times six times five, plus, I'm gonna take this onto another line, 
plus 2 times length times height, 2 times 5. And this is going to equal our surface area. Um, and when we go through and do this, let's see. We get 104. And look at our units. We've got feet, feet, feet. So we can say feet squared. And so the uh, biggest part here is just labeling, making sure you plug it into your calculator correctly. Um, and then now let's look at triangular prisms. Um, okay, so there's a little bit more to this one, right? So um, let's see. So first we're going to look at um, just our bases, right? So the lengths and widths. So um, we have our base of our triangle, B. Height of our triangle, H. So those are those two parts. Um, let's see. Then we get to these S1, S2, S3, right? So those are our sides of our triangles, right? So we got, let's just call this S1. B is also S2, and H is also S3. Won't always be that way, just happens to be that way in this case. Um, and then we have this H out here left over. That's the height of our prism, right? So the distance between our two bases. And so our capital H height will be that 11 in this case. So let's go through and calculate our um, surface area. So our surface area, say, is equal to B times H, which is 4 times 3, 4 times 3. That's going to be plus our sides, so 3 plus 4 plus 5. And all that is going to be multiplied by um, 11, right? So we can toss that 11 in here. Um, if you plug it in your calculator just like that, you should be just fine. Um, if you want to break it down, if we can break it down a little bit, let's do 4 times 3 gets us 12 plus 11 times, what do we get here? 7, 12. So we get 12 plus 11 times 12. You get 144. Our units are centimeters, centimeters, centimeters. 144 centimeters squared since we're talking about surface area.